Hello, I'm Rachel Piper. Welcome to my channel, Size Diverse Pilates, where I'm trying to make Pilates more accessible to the larger population. And I like to talk about accessibility when it comes to Pilates. How a regular resistance band, the ones that we have come accustomed to, these latex type, these elastic types here, how these are not always supportive for all types of bodies. And this is true, if you have more weight in your leg or you need a little bit more strength building, one of these bands is not going to cut it. The other thing about these bands is that over time, sometimes they start to break apart or potentially rip. That's what happened with this particular band about uh, two months ago. It started, started to rip a little bit and um, this band is no longer safe, but I did decide to have it for this video. Um, so it started to break, so this one is no longer valid, and then after this video, I'll toss it. But there are some pretty good fabric versions on the market. Right now, I think the more, most supportive one that I have found is from Two Bands on Amazon, and I am not affiliated with them at all. So they did not send this to me. I spent my own money on this. They have two bands right now. They have a lighter weight one that is shorter, and then they have a heavier resistance one. The reason I like fabric bands, and I would like to see more of these out on the market that are heavier and more supportive, is because based on how long your legs are, or how short your legs or arms are, they have sort of that same hole here all the way down the band that you would see on a yoga strap. However, yoga straps are typically not elastic. So I love these two bands right here from two bands because there are different weights and lengths. So the green one is the lighter band. You can see it's thinner. It's also shorter. I have longer legs. This band doesn't work for me for doing things in Pilates like roll down but this heavier resistance band is actually really great. The more you choke up on this band, the heavier it's going to be. It's very thick and it still has the same spots in here where you can grab at different spots. And you could potentially take one of your handles and get a, a carabiner or whatever that's called. You could get one of those and you could wrap it in here and then you could actually hook your handle to it. That would make it longer the longer the band is or the more you the more you add to it the less tension you're going to have in that so note that as well but the other reason that i like these and my point that i'm getting at here is that you can loop your hand through for people who have problems maybe some arthritis in their hands you can loop your hand through here or if you do what i just said and you add that carabiner and your handle, then somebody could hold on to the handles instead of having to try and grip on to this. So you can lengthen these, add handles and lengthen these very, very easily. You can also choke up on them wherever you need to. So if I took the second rung here, I could still hold that the same exact way uh, and that would make the band shorter, which means that there would be more tension. So let me just repeat that. We have the two bands here. The one here that is shorter, it is thinner and it is a lighter weight. The red one over here is a heavier band and it's longer, okay? So you're going to be supported no matter what and you don't have to worry about these ripping or breaking. Now I'm just gonna show you a few exercises. I highly recommend these. Right now I'm highly recommending these to anyone who needs resistance band support just because of the simple fact that they are fabric and this red band is a lot stronger than your typical uh, regular resistance band. So you could play around with them. They aren't actually that expensive. In the long run, you want something that is safe and something that's supportive. So to me, it's worth the money to give them a try. Okay, you can wrap the band around the bottoms of the feet and you can hold. So I'm gonna start with the short one here. So from my heel all the way up to the top of my hip, about 38, 39 inches. I'm 5'9", just so you know the, the difference in my body here. So as I straighten my legs here, you can see that this is already pretty tight for me because of how long my legs are. But I can hold that and reach 
my body away and I can come down comfortably. This is pulling my shoulders a little bit, but you know, it's not that bad. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what that looks like with the lighter and shorter band. So there is some support there. There's definitely some support there. Not as much as this red band though. So for the red band, and that's me holding at the end and not taking my hand through. If I took my hand through, then you could see that this band will become shorter and the tension will be a bit more. So if I put this around my feet, like so, and I start to go back and I reach away. Because of the tension, the length actually helps me. I can actually pull my shoulders back a little bit more and it's not super tight. And then as I curl up for that roll up, I can pull out or I can pull back to come back up. Now, if I were doing something where I took my legs in a bent position, then there would be more room for me to be able to roll back here and roll back up because I've shortened my legs there. The other thing that I like is that this actually has the circles all the way through. So for single leg circle, you can actually use this middle spot right here. You might have to change that up a little bit. So I'll show you this one. So as I go down, I'll reach my leg up and I can actually pull down here pretty comfortably and I can take my leg over down and back, over, down, and back up. And then of course we always switch directions. It's very, very supportive. I really, really like this a lot. Um, and then you can bring yourself up. Now, um, I don't know if you can see it, but as I'm pressing, as I press down, this top part does come up. So it is possible that you could be kind of nifty and while you're up there, you could switch feet in the middle, which is what we do with the resistance band anyway. But I do highly recommend putting your foot inside here. It's actually quite comfortable. It's less likely to slip. So as I'm up here, yeah, I could totally slip that foot in and take that leg out. That was the first time I tried that one. So that's really, really nice. You could attach those handles here and then that would give you more space or your legs are shorter, you can choke up and pull down. I actually really like that variation a lot. It gives you a lot of stability, frees up the hand a little bit. The other nice thing is when you're in this position, a lot of times we like to do those leg stretches and you can still do those leg stretches nice and comfortably. The band itself, uh, the actual band itself, it doesn't, it, it, I've been using it for five weeks, maybe five or six weeks. So I've been playing around with this a lot with a lot of different exercises, doing it on the reformer, just seeing like how it would actually go. And thus far, when I'm holding it, it doesn't really hurt my hands. It's not scratching my hands or anything like that. So I really, really like that. The other thing that I like to note again is if you, like to reach up specifically with short box if you're doing reformer work and you like to reach up or stretch you can do this on your chair you can do this with um, your roll up taking your arms out to the side bringing your arms inside here and pressing out to do that abduction up here is actually really nice it frees up the hands so my hands i know we need to be working on grip strength all of us do especially as we age but sometimes if your hands hurt or you're doing a lot with the resistance band, it's kind of nice just to be able to reach up and press out to get that connection all the way from your arm down to your back and into your center. So I really like this band for that reason because it has the holes all the way through. And you can adjust those however you need to. You can take it out a little bit wider if you need to and that's nice. Same thing with this band. So I'm using the red one just because it's longer, but if somebody, the tension is a little bit too much for them there, you can absolutely take this band and take it up. It's gonna be very, very light here, but it might uh, help somebody find their connection a little bit easier. It might not tire them out as much, which I kind of love. Then, like I said, with the roll up, you could actually have them pull the band out and I'll just do like a half roll back for this one. But as you roll yourself back, you could have them press out into the band and then 
come back up and press out into the band and then come back up. The other thing that I love about this lighter band is that you can get a little bit of rotation with that roll down. So if I just took my legs a little bit wider and I'm holding here and I roll myself halfway back, I could pull and come back, pull and come back. Now this is only gonna go so far because I have my foot in there. It allows me to feel that twist. So I'll do that to the other side as well. It allows that, that rotation in the trunk, but you don't go as far. Now, if you wanted to add more strength to that or a little more length to that, then you could switch to this other band. And I'll show that really quick too, just so you can see the variations. Now the legs are a little bit wider than they would normally be for roll up in this. So this is nice and tight. Actually feels about the same length here. So we'll see. I'm gonna roll that and twist. Yeah, I can go a little bit farther and then come back and then twist to the other side. I can also just pull the arm back here and it's a lot of nice tension. I'm having to hold myself up, which is really good work as well. So there's a lot of options that you can use for these bands to support the legs and to build some strength work, add a little bit of rotation in, and um, just in general, side bending, because if we, you know how much I love to talk about all the body shapes. So we had flexion, you can do extension as well, I'll do that in a second. But as we're here and we're seated, maybe put a ball between the knees, that's usually more comfortable for me. As you side bend over, you can have your hands up in here. They're nice and free, but that helps people. You can say, or you can think, if you're a practitioner, lift the fingertips up and reach over to the side, then lift the head and the fingertips towards the sky for our side bending here. I really, really love that. Now I'm gonna show an extension exercise here. Our swan that we do, if we come prone, so face down, same thing that we can do when we have our band, except for maybe it's too much for you to hold on to this. Slide the hands through. And then as you come down and then reach up, you could maybe pull your arms apart and lift them up here. And then bring it down. And then pull up and reach out to the sides and come back down. So that's one of our prone exercises there. Uh, let's see. I use the band so many different ways and I'm trying to make this video short. The other thing that I like to do is I like to fold up my band a lot and put it back behind my head for certain exercises. So let me show you that one. You'll put that right underneath that occipital bone there. And then you could do, you could hold yourself here and you could do your ab series. Um, you could hold it here for a double leg stretch and reach out. You could hold it up and you could press in or you could hold here for single straight leg stretch. There's a lot of different options that you can do. Even with your neck pull, if we're talking Pilates, you could put this back behind the head, which gives you a little more space to be able to come down and then come back up. I almost hit myself in the eye. Um, instead of being here, it just brings you out a little bit more to help you widen the chest, widen the back, which helps you get up for that neck pull. So I might as well show that. So I'll put this back behind my head. It gives me a little extra space. So as I take myself back, my head goes down. As I come up, it gives me that space that I can do that instead of being here, which makes it a little bit tighter. And then as I come up, I have to sort of bring my arms together to find those muscles. But if I just have a little bit of a wider grip here, then I'm already wide and I can already access those muscles. So that's just some things to think about. So last one, uh, corkscrew is usually a good one 
uh, to have with the band just to get some of that lower spinal rotation each way, but the legs can be very heavy because you have both legs in that resistance band. For that one, you can do it two ways. You can put your feet inside here, but they'll be pretty wide. Otherwise, you can just use the band around the foot. This does not have grippies on it, which is the only thing that I wish maybe it had, but I can pull my arms down here and then I can take my legs over to the side and around and down and to the side and up. So um, this band is nice and strong for that particular exercise, which I also really love. Okay. Well, that's kind of my review on this is that um, honestly, I don't think that I will go back to a regular resistance band wherever I toss the one that I had, um, just because it doesn't have as much tension and support as this band. And this one right here is lighter, so it makes me work a little bit more, but is still supportive and helps a lot with the, all the different exercises. And also, I mean, you have footholds here. You have, you have a place to put your hands and you can attach the handles on here as well. Let me just grab my handle so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so I brought my handles over so you could see. These are just handles from probably Balanced Body or something like that, and then here's that that um, care banger or whatever that big that big clip is that was black on black. So that's what that looks like. And you just take that and put it in. And then you do the same thing on the other side. So this gives people who maybe have trouble hanging on um, a different kind of support here that they can use and so it does lengthen it so I'm going to show you what that looks like so put that around the feet just so you can see the difference here so as I get to hold this you can see I actually have a lot more space here and I get to hold on to these handles so as I go back I can actually extend my arms more and my shoulders come back nice and easy but like I said earlier in the video, the longer this strap is, the less tension you will have here. So you just need to know that. And same thing, I will show you what that looks like for our single leg circle. I'll take this up. Right here, it makes it lighter. So for me, it feels more like the green strap when I have all of this extra space here. And that's kind of it. I wanted to show you what that looked like there. And of course, putting the handles on this band will make this band even lighter. Um, but it's actually with the handles on here, I would say that the, the tension to me feels about the same as this band without anything on. But this band is thicker, which is nice for the feet. All right, well, that is that's it. Like, I probably wouldn't go back to regular resistance bands unless, you know, I'm teaching in studio or somewhere uh, and all they have is uh, the other kind of resistance bands. I know it's kind of pricey to have these. There are other ones out on the market that are very, very light. So if you have the option to try it and pull it and see how long it is before you buy it, I would say go ahead and do that. I know that we have a couple at the studio, we have one at the studio that is for yoga and it's very light and I think it's shorter than this particular band, which might not be a bad thing for some people, but those of us who are in larger bodies, maybe we carry a little bit more weight in our backside and our legs. We have, you know, a little bit more weight there. We might need something that's a little bit longer and a little bit more supportive. And the same thing, if you have longer legs, then you may need something that's a little bit longer than that. So I would say if you have the opportunity, try it out, but uh, I'm 5'9", so I'll just say that. 
and this band works for pretty much everything. I hardly ever have to put these handles on this set here and it works for me. I also have my husband who is six foot tall. He tried the red band and he really doesn't need handles either, but I think our legs are the same, same length. So um, that's just a little bit of a difference there. If you have any questions, please comment on this and please like and share this with anyone who you think might benefit from knowing about these fabric resistance bands. So again, like and share, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for stopping by.